hell no, nah, not my boy Aunt Glizzy. We gotta take it to the couch for this one. Listen. <clears throat> I ride with a hoodie and a ski behind the tents You never know when you gotta hop out and get lit We came so far, I pray to God we never go back I lost a lot, I pray my sons don't never ever see the streets We lost a lot, but they lost more and never will be peace Police rolling through my hood, they say they I'm not even gonna let y'all do this thing, Aunt Glizzy. Listen, so I've been watching on the internet, huh? Well, let me put this down. So I've been watching on the internet, right? So, Aunt Glizzy just did a video, right? He just did a video. Let me let me fix this camera real quick. Hold on a second, it's kinda too tall. Bang. There we go. So. Aunt Glizzy, right? First of all, I want to say this. Before we restart this, I know there's a chance that Aunt Glizzy is going to watch this. She's probably going to think, like, yo, this nigga bandana black is a wild nigga. Like, how the fuck we had that conversation and you do this video right here? But this is my truth. This is honestly what I want to say about the situation. Um, is Aunt Glizzy scared to go to L.A.? Is Aunt Glizzy scared to go to um, Adam 22, No Jumper, because of WAC 100, uh, the No Jumper Crips, and all this other stuff? Um absolutely is he scared and should he be scared absolutely remember a couple of videos ago well not even a couple of videos ago every video that i say about whack 100 i say how he's the most dangerous man in the industry that's not somebody who you want to play with like adam 22 himself adam 22 himself said that he don't trust whack 100 when whack 100 asked adam 22 on his podcast he said listen adam do you think do you think in your heart that i do something i would jeopardize your business and your security and your life and your millions of dollars and your wife and your legacy and everything that you work for on some dumb street stuff and adam 22 said yeah absolutely whack i, I don't trust you at all i would absolutely think that you would do that um and so if adam 22 doesn't trust this the people that run his platform but at this point let's be serious bro Adam 22, no jumper, is run by gang members. I agree with Aunt Glizzy. So even though I'm saying Aunt Glizzy is scared to go to LA, I would be scared to go too, nigga. It's not about being scared. It's about being smart, motherfucker. It's not be like y'all call it being scared. It's about being smart and staying alive. Like, that shit is stupid. If you know you're going into a situation that's not controlled and you have pretty much no wins in the situation, then why the fuck go? So the fans can say that you cool, so the fans can say you a real nigga, so the fans can say you a street nigga, so you could end up with your top popped off, you get knocked out of your crocs or some shit like that out in LA playing around. Um, it's just not a smart idea. So I salute Aunt Glizzy, but the, the reason why I salute Aunt Glizzy is because he could have took the easy way out, right? Aunt Glizzy was beefing with a lot of people from Chicago. Aunt Glizzy was beefing a lot of people from his own city. He could have took the easy way out. He could have went to know because honestly, realistically, the chances of something happening to Aunt Glizzy at no jamper is slim to none only because at the end of the day you're going to fucking get sued adam is worried about getting sued forget all the street gang stuff yeah that's going to happen and that's going to happen but he's scared of getting sued he's not going to invite you out there and something's going to happen to you getting sued so the fact is nothing is going to happen to you but it's just not a, a smart idea because it's not the fact of something to happen to you where say for example nothing physically might happen to you but Whack 100 might just pop up mid-interview and say, yo, I want to ask you these three questions and I, I want you to give me an answer. Why are you on live interview at Adam22 platform with a hundred bloods, a hundred crips because, you know, he's from Pyro. That's what I be saying, man. You know, you know, Whack 100, when he get into it with somebody, he turn into John Rue, he got a hundred bloods, a hundred crips, he's from Pyro. This nigga put a hundred, this nigga, this nigga's the leader of every gang. Like, this nigga, I've heard him argue with everybody on Clubhouse and any gang, like anywhere you at, like say there's a gang called the the brown short posse he knows somebody from the brown short posse he's leaning on somebody from the brown short posse that can flip on you like this nigga is dangerous like not only is he the, the leader of every gang not only his gang can he put on you you can put everybody else gang on you he could put the police on you because he fuck with six nine and the rest of the stitches and stuff because remember he can turn off his whole well i'm not a street guy today i'm, I'm being a business guy today so i can, I can fuck with the snitches or i'm not a stitch today i'm a i'm a, I'm a pyro today so I, I can't do this so he can switch back and forth that's not somebody who you really want to get involved in you see what i'm saying that's not somebody who you want to be in a situation with so i think anglizzy is right i think i i do think that he's scared to go to la but i think he has a reason to be scared it's called being a grown man and being smart my nigga like you're not you're going to be in a compromise you might be in a compromising position that'll be bad for your brand you right so yeah that situation they might not put hands on you but if you get on here and say some shit like I don't know, you might just ask you some shit that you don't want to answer on live or something like that. I mean, that's an uncomfortable situation. You got a hundred bloods, a hundred crips behind the camera and just whack 100, ask you some shit right here. And Adam 22 playing it. Well, I'm just a stupid white boy. I don't know anything. So I'm a citizen. I'm going to do the same thing that academics was doing. As long as I say I'm a citizen, it don't have nothing to do with anything. No, nigga. You're a gang member too, Adam 22. Whether you whether you decide or not, nigga, you pick the side, my nigga. You pick the side, Adam 22. You can't. Those days that you want academics the same. You know what? I can 
be with street people. I can talk about street shit. I can stir street beefs. I can egg on street beefs and all that. But if anything happens to me or my family, you get mad at me. I can t nope. I'm a citizen. I'm a white boy. I'm not from the hood, nigga. You've been around these hood niggas more than me, and I'm from the hood, my nigga. You been doing, you know how long you've been doing this no jumper podcast, my nigga. So all that, I'm not from the hood shit. I'm not, I don't know anything about the street shit. You know all. I know about the street shit because of the shit that was on your platform, my nigga. I don't know anything. About, only thing I knew about the bloods was Jim Jones and Dipset, bro. Well, game too, and maybe well, I don't really count him. Uh, do we count? Uh, he's from New York, so we don't count him. But game, uh, Dipset. I don't know about the other guy. Yeah, I think there was some paperwork on him, so I don't know if we are gonna look at him. But those are the only thing we knew about games until Adam Twenty Two and No Jumper podcast. Now I know everything's about game. I really, I wanted to visit LA. Like I really like. That, I'm not gonna say it was on my bucket list, but I like. I really wanted to go to LA until I started watching the you No know, Jumper shit. It's like that's LA, bro. Like this, it's. I'll be uncomfortable. You can't do shit. Like you can't wear no colors. You can't say shit. like. I was watching a joke. You can't say French fries. I'm not saying French fries in a bad way, but I'm I'm in Buffalo, New York right now, so this is not offensive for me saying French fries. But if you was in L.A., you get killed for saying French fries, bro. I'm not going anywhere where you can't say French fries, bro. That's crazy. But anyways, man, shouts out to the boy Ant Glizzy. Um, Ant, if you're watching this, man, keep doing what you're doing. Honestly, bro, if you're watching this, you're worth more than what you're asking right now. You're worth more than what you're asking right now. He gonna know what I'm talking about um, when he see this. But you're worth more than what you're asking right now. Um, like I said, I, I, I support the channel. I fuck with English. I, 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 I'm not gonna say I stand behind everything that he says, but a lot of his views and opinions on some shit that I, I, I can relate to. Um, not so much heavy on the... Um, I think you gotta be careful. I think you gotta, like... You gotta find, like... See, I don't wanna say this and then it'd be a problem for you, but, like... Gangs are everywhere, bro. There, gangs are everywhere, and it's always somebody on a lower tier level of a gang that might not be the gang that you're talking about. That might be connected to another gang that just wants some points, bro. That's all I'm just saying. Like, it might not mean nothing to you. It might mean something to you, but I'll just say that, bro. There's, there's definitely gangs every, in Buffalo, New York. There's gangs everywhere, bro. Like the, the same gangs that's in LA that you like the, the, the no jumper podcast, you like that. Like that shit is tied everywhere, bro. That shit is tied everywhere, bro. Unless you're living in a no a lot. That shit is tied everywhere, bro. Anyways, DJ Band in the Black, Mr. Wealth, and more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. I don't know why, whenever I'm on camera, whenever I sit here on camera, it is always a flickering light over here. There's nothing over here besides the window, but I always see a flickering. Is that a sign of a stroke? Get them the gates. Anyways, we out. DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. We That was the only... DJ, we really had, you know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan, you know, since day one. I knew him before, I, I knew him before he was even Bandana Black, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ, man, he just always showed love, man. So, you know, definitely shout out to Bandana Black. Yeah, what Eve will you bandana black? DJ Ban Ban Bandana!